10 albums, round two. Let's start. Album 490 is uh, Trace Hombres by the uh, trio ZZ Top. Out of the 10 that I've, I've listened to before this, this album had the first songs that I knew. Jesus Just Left Chicago. LaGrange is a classic. Waiting for the Bus. I think this album is great. A classic, classic rock jam. Uh, and I will give this 3.5 stars. Just short of flawless for me. 489 is the album Destroyer by Kiss. I'm doing my best with this project to come into each album listen with fresh ears, objectively trying to see if the album achieved what it set out to achieve. I'm trying my best to leave biases about genre and groups um, uh, on the side so that I can sort of uh, listen to the album on its own terms. At least at first, I, th I think that's um, how we should try to experience uh, art like this. To call this album art is demeaning to art in general. This is not only the worst rock album I ever heard, possibly the worst thing, the worst sound that has ever come into my brain. I hated this album so much and I'm embarrassed to say that my son was in the car during some of the tracks. Everything about this to me was horrible. Disgusting, appalling. These losers were the biggest selling act at the time. Is that is that right? How can that be possible? I, I can't say enough awful things about this album. I only listened to it one time and I hope I never hear it again. And the only reason why I'm not compelled to travel throughout the entire world and collect every copy that has ever been uh, sent out of this album and gather it into one spot and incinerate it all in the heat of a thousand angry suns is that it's so worthless that to take the time to do that would be giving it more credit than it deserves. Uh, this is a, a rating of zero. It is absolute trash. Please don't listen to it. And I'm gonna stop talking about it now. Number 488 on this list is an album called New Day Rising by an American punk band named Husker Du, uh, which I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It does have those umlauts over the U's. It was, it was hip to be Germanic. So this one, I, I, I sort of went on a journey with this one. The first track I opened up, it's like this extreme, almost noise rock. First song I, I liked a lot. And then the next one did sort of the same thing. And that was okay. And then the third song did the same thing again. Not as well. And then it sort of just sort of did the same thing 10 or 11 times. And by the end of the album, my ears hurt and I, I didn't want to hear anymore. So I'll give this a one and a half stars. Number 487 is uh, She's So Unusual by Cindy Lauper. I actually really enjoyed this. It, it was just pure, pure uh, rock pop from the 80s. Her voice is obnoxious, but I can get over that most, mostly. So I'll give it a rating of three. Number 486 is Earth, Wind and Fire, their album That's the Way of the World. This album, I'm just going to spoil you right now, was my top pick for this group grouping of 10 albums. Totally blew me away. I loved the uh, vocals. I loved the uh, arrangements. Everything about it came together for me perfectly. A really impressive album. Um, made all the more impressive by the fact that I, again, did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. So this is another four uh, for this one. Next up, 485. Pearl Jam, here we are in the 1990s with our album Vitality. Vitology. Vitology. Vitology is the name of this one. The, I listened to the whole album twice. It's a very long album. Uh, one of the longer ones that I've had in this project so far. But I did listen to it twice and I just, I liked it less and less the more I heard it. I guess it was good grunge. Uh, I'll give it a one. I would turn it off if I came across it again. Number 484 is an album by Mott the Hoople, who I had never heard of before. Uh, this album is their uh, All the Young Dudes 
Um, and it's basically just straight ahead classic rock. Uh, I that's how I sort of listened to it. It was okay. It was it was pleasant, enjoyable, uh, inoffensive as far as I know. I'll give it a two. Number four hundred and eighty three is an album uh, by a punk band, an English punk band named Gang of Four, and this album is Entertainment with a exclamation point at the end. Super well done, I thought. I was really impressed at the musicianship what I would call uncompromising aesthetic of where the band was going with the sound of the album. You can still feel that sort of angsty fire that you would expect from a punk group. Extremely well done. Almost a, a great one for me. Um, but I will give it a 3.5. Next up, 482 is an album by Steve Earle called Guitar Town. Uh, this is another one from the 1980s. I'd never heard of the guy before. Apparently he's a big songwriter. And this album is basically just straight ahead country rock pop. It, it, was, it was good for what it was. So I have to give it a three because it did what it did super well, even though I personally wouldn't choose to listen to it again. Okay, last for this round of 10 albums is uh, 481. D'Angelo's Voodoo. I'd never heard of D'Angelo before, but I recognized the sound of the album almost as soon as I heard it. Listening to this very singular approach to rhythm um, and keeping that backbeat is, it was a little jarring. And if you listen to some of these Neo Soul song, uh, songs, you'll hear it. It's almost anti-dance music because you can't really you can't really put your foot down on a particular beat. And even the singing is off of that off beat. So all the rhythms are sort of shuffled around and pushed here and pushed there, which is the style of that Neo Soul um, rhythm. Only one one of the songs really stood out to me. The big hit from that album, the, the groove on that one did work for me and I really did enjoy it. Even if the lyrical content was... So, because I know it was done the way that the artist wanted it to be done, and that's the, the sound of the record, I have to give it a two, even though I didn't particularly enjoy it uh, as music for myself. And there we are, another 10 down. So we are up um, 20 albums, and I do expect my tastes to continue to change and expand uh, throughout the next 50 weeks. Thanks for watching again. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, and if you would like to see more, hit subscribe. I will see you soon. Thanks a lot.